You're here. You're ready. Welcome to my world. Back once again, YouTube. Looks like you guys all chose the right side, so let's open this figure up. Actually, not actually the figure, the actual box. Let's open this box up and see what we have inside. Okay, here's the top. What, what do we got there? We got an SH Figure Arts Super Saiyan 3 Goku. So you can see that right there. You guys wanted it. You guys chose it. This is what we're going to be reviewing right here. Boom. There he is in all of his Super Saiyan glory. Look at that figure, man. It's freaking awesome. I'm a huge Dragon Ball Z fan. So let's just take a look at the box for a second. As you can see here, it says right here, SH Figure Arts on the top. So that's the company who made it. We've got nice little graphic detail on the side. You see it, Funimation right there. It's actually a sticker. It's not actually on the box. We got Dragon Ball Z. We got uh, Tamushi Nation right there. I don't think I pronounced that right. We got Bandai. Obviously, this figures for eighteen uh, for uh, ages fifteen and up. And then there's a small choking hazard because you don't want to smoke on Goku's Kamehameha wave. So we got the side of the box. We have a picture of Goku. Right here, you got the bottom of the box with all the warnings of please, please be careful to let your children have this figure because they'll choke on it. All right, we got this side of the box where we have another picture of the figure. This, from what I understand from this line is this is the first figure to come with an actual action part, which is the aura when they power up. Here's a little quick bio of the figure. Not actually the bio of the figure, but the bio of the company. And then here's the bio of the figure. So you can pause that right there if you care to read it, so you can know when he turns Super Saiyan 3. And then you can see a nice little picture of Goku right there, of that figure. And there's some Japanese writing right there, and unfortunately I don't read Japanese. So, let's open him up and check him out. Okay, so I wanted to start off with the accessories that uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku comes with. And so far we have about... Three pairs of hands, a, ch a changeable face, and the halo for when he died. Or actually when he came back from, uh, was it the other world, to fight Majin Buu. It actually, this fits on top of the head. A little peg hole on there. I'll show that in a bit. Here's the other face, looking pretty mean, looking to the, to the right right there. So obviously someone to his right is pissing him off. And then here are the hands. You got the Kamehameha hand here. So, you know, you put those two on them. Give them that little Kamehameha look right there. And if you look at the hands, they're actually really fairly detailed painted. Very detailed painted. Like you can see the finger nails are painted. Good shading. You can see that there's like different colors of the skin due to the fact that he's curling his hands. So we got the two fisted hands here. See what those look like. And also you can see that the thumb, the thumbnail is actually painted very well. And they didn't have to do all that, but they did anyway. And then we have the open hand right here for his spirit bomb. Once again, the nails are painted excellent on this. Excellent. Look at that detail on those. So that's it for the accessories. And there's the figure. Wow, it's freaking awesome. Awesome, awesome figure. I couldn't couldn't be more happier. I mean, the only complaint I have is that it's very, very top heavy due to the hair, which I'll show you when I try to stand them up and everything. But it does come with a display stand, as you see. I'll spin them around for you. It does come with a display stand. See the sh beautiful shading on the hair. It goes from like really bright, bright blonde to almost like a lighter, lighter blonde. Beautiful figure. So yeah, here's the stand. Nice clear base. Even the stand is articulated so you can use it for other things. Putting together the pieces was pretty easy. Uh, the directions are pretty self-explanatory. There's only certain ones that have certain holes that they have to use to be able to get them into. I've heard a lot of people complain about the fact that 
that the the aura piece is very difficult to to put together. So, so let's take him off his figure. base. You see the detail on the face. I mean, it looks exactly like Goku. You can't tell me it doesn't. Awesome. You can see the shading on the clothes very well. How it goes from like dark, like an orangish yellow, to a much lighter yellow due to the fact that he's freaking a Super Saiyan. So you can see all the detail on this figure. So yeah, so trying to stand him up is pretty difficult due to the fact that his hair is very, very heavy in the back. I mean, I like to get him in the instant transmission power bomb, I mean spirit bomb pose. Power bomb. <laughs> Thinking about WWE. So, yeah, he's very difficult to stand. I mean, that's why they give you that stand there. You can actually have him stand up on that much more, much easier than trying to stand him up without it yeah it's not gonna happen alright so let's talk about articulation um, well real quick I mean to change the, the the faces is pretty easy you just grab these little grab the face pull off and you can see that there's pegs there and there's a peg holes here that you gotta match up so you just put that back and you can see the joint right there is on a disc joint for the hair so you can look up and down so let's put that back on because it would be weird to do the review without him having a face alright so for articulation you can see that his head is on a disc joint so you can get some very good motion so you can have him looking down completely looking up not so much due to the fact of the hair his neck is actually on a joint too a small joint so you can get some kind of mobility out of that. You can see it right there. So you can sway it. So his head's kind of tilted. You can sway it the other way, left and right. So it's on a ball joint. Even the hair has articulation, so you can move each individual section of hair. So this back piece swivels right here. You can move it up, down. So there's a little bit of articulation, and it gets a little bit more. As you get to the last piece, the last piece has a little bit more articulation. Articulation. Okay, the shoulders, the arms can fully rotate 360 degrees. And then you have a, a joint right here that pops out so you can get a little bit more range of motion so you get closer to the chest or so when you do those Kamehameha poses or any other pose, dynamic poses. You got a bicep swivel right here. And you got double jointed elbows. You got double jointed elbows right there. So that's pretty good. You can get those great poses. This piece right here is also articulated the the sleeve of his shirt. So that we can cover up the hinge when you need to. You can cover up the hinge when you need to. So, so you get the kind of more realistic look. He has an ab crunch. And you can pull it out kind of to rotate it so he's on like a ball hinge. So he does have an ab crunch. He also has waist articulation, so you can move him left and right. So you can get a, tons of poses with him. His legs can go this far, and then they can go that far back, but then you can pull it down because of the special joint they have. It's like a double ball joint hinge, so you can get the more dynamic poses right here, more dynamic moves for him. You know, get a good, nice, good kick in there. Nice roundhouse. You know, things like that. There's no thigh swivel, but he does have double jointed knees. So you can get, you know, full 90 degrees on the knee. It's kind of odd the way the knee joint works because you can actually, you have to kind of rock. When you bend it, you bend it normal, and then you can actually bend it more, and you gotta be careful and put it back because of the plastic. He has a he don't he doesn't have like a calf rotation, but he does have ankle rotation. You have an ankle pivot right here, ankle pivot, love the ankle pivot. And then you have toe articulation. Move up and down. Move up and down. So that all helps with posing him. So you get some great, great poses with him. I'm gonna change the hands to the command man hand. So 
So I'm going to set him up in his iconic Kamea wave stance here the best I can. Probably won't stand because he's freaking. I'm telling you, he's super top heavy. All in all, this figure is a great figure. I mean, for any Dragon Ball Z fan that's out there, I mean, he's so worth picking up. I'm gonna see if I could use this stand to hold him up. I wish they would have included a, another face, like when he's yelling. That would have been much more better, I think. Would have been a, I mean, the one where he's kind of just looking to the side is not enough of a face. So there we go. Going right there for the Kamehameha. see that and then for his halo you can see right here there's a little peg hole on the top of his head where'd it go actually let me bring the figure closer I think he there it is there's the peg hole right here you can see it right there so you just peg the little halo right there I don't want to press too hard because then you'll break it. Might need to take some shaping. And there you go. And so there it is. The SH Figure Arts Super Saiyan 3 Goku which is an awesome figure. I mean, I give this figure a 10 out of 10. I mean, for any Dragon Ball Z fan, this is the figure to get right here. You can't go wrong with this figure. No way you can't. I mean, he's just a beautiful, beautiful figure. So go ahead, YouTube, rate, subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what would you like me to review next. And uh, have a wonderful day. Mm -hmm.